I have a word. So in this dream, I could see a lady was supposed to go up to another lady and confront her about what God had wanted her to say. This other lady grabbed her by her hair, which made the other lady get angry. But then she fled. She ran. And when she ran, a lot of demons started chasing after her, which made her start running from the demons. Instead of standing ground to fight and stand and fight, she ran. But she was meant to do a mission to go up to the lady and tell the lady what God wanted her to say. But the lady grabbed her by her hair, which made her angry, and she fled. She ran. Now, the Lord had given me the word of people pleasing. And in the Bible, Saul got into people pleasing. In 1 Samuel 15, verse 3, it says, now go and attack Amalek. I, I hope that I'm pronouncing this word correctly. If I'm not, please go back and look at your Bibles. And it says, and utterly destroy all that they have and do not spare them, but kill both man and women, infant and nursing, child, ox, sheep, camel, and donkey. God gave Saul an assignment to do, to destroy everybody. And Saul, you know what Saul did? Saul did not do what God called him to do, but instead he spared some and ended up having a tormenting spirit that tormented him. And also he was demoted because he did not do what God called him to do. Now you have been going through struggling with people pleasing and you want to do the call that God has over your life. God is saying to break free from people, people pleasing today. Break free from people pleasing today. In this dream that I seen, this lady was supposed to go up and tell this woman what God wanted her to say to, the, to this woman. She, she was supposed to go up and say to this other lady what God told her to say. But instead, the other lady grabbed her by her hair. And when she grabbed her, the, the lady got angry and fled, ran. And then all these demons started chasing her because it was basically, instead of her standing the ground of what God told her to do, she ran. And then the demons followed. When we people please, we can invite witchcraft into our lives. As Saul did, Saul tried to, tried to, um, he went against what God told him to do. He didn't do the whole full mission that God told him to do, which brought a tormenting spirit. Today, I speak to you and I say that God is saying to do what he has called you to do. Even when it feels like you can't, he said, I am with you. God said, do you please man or do you please me? So if this is a word you've been waiting on, the word that maybe you might be going through it today and you're having a hard time by doing what God has called you to do, I say now today to do what God has, God, do what God has told you to do. Say what God has told you to say. Go where God has told you to go. Do not be a people pleaser for it can bring witchcraft over your life as it did Saul. It brought a tormenting spirit. Because he spared some and God told him, do not spare anybody. And it made it where God had anointed another king. I pray that this word helps you. God is with you in your mission. Go forward and do what God has called you to do. Break that spirit off of you right now. In the name of Jesus, of people pleasing. God bless you. Be blessed.